In our app, no matter if the user is authenticated or not, they are all able to access the feedback page. Now, we have said that the feedback page is a page that should only be accessible by the logged in users. And that is what we are going to talk about in this part. We are going to talk about OldGuard, which is a service that controls access to specific routes based on the user authentication status. So if a user is authenticated, we are going to allow them to access this page. And if the user is not authenticated, then we are going to redirect them to a different route, which typically is a login page. But in our case, since we are using a login pop-up, we are going to redirect them to a not authorized page which we're going to create on the next part. So let us go to Visual Studio Code. To create an old guard, we're going to create a new TypeScript file. So for that, I'll just go to the Explorer. And then inside the app, I'll just click New File. And I'm going to name this file alt.guard.ts. And an old guard is just a service file. And we have said that the service files are decorated with the injectable decorator for that add injectable and let us import the injectable which belongs to angular core and down here we need to create a class so i'll just export class and then auth guard And then in here we're going to have the constructor. So I'll just type in your CTR and then tab. This does create the constructor. Inside the constructor, we're going to inject the auth0 authentication service. So just type in here public and then underscore auth. This is going to be the auth service. Let's import the namespace and the namespace is alt0 and then alt0 angular. And the second one is going to be the router underscore router and then router. Because by using the router, we are going to be able to get the URL path and then we're going to check basically if this URL path is guarded by an alt guard and then based on the user. So if the user is logged in, we either allow them to access that path or redirect them to a certain page. Let's import the router. This is part of the Angular router. And then after the constructor, we're going to have the can activate method, which has the route to get the activated route snapshot. So activated route snapshot. Let's import the namespace. I'll just add it to the Angular router. Then we also have the state, which is router state snapshot. Let's import the namespace for this one as well. This is part of the Angular router. And then this is going to return a Boolean URL tree. Let's import the namespace Angular router. And then let me close the explorer in here because I need some extra space. So we have boolean URL tree. Then we're going to have observable. So observable. Let's import the namespace. And this belongs to the RxJS. So observable boolean or URL tree. And the last one, let's say, is going to be a promise of pool or URL tree. So this is a method. Now, inside this method, we're going to write all the code. In here, we are going to return, so we're going to return underscore auth service, so this dot auth, if the user is authenticated or not. And then by using the pipe method, 
we are going to check if the user is logged in or not. For that in here, so pipe, I'm going to use the map method that is logged in that goes to if that is not true so if it's not logged in then we want to redirect the users so we want to return this dot router dot parse url and this is going to be let's say we want to redirect them to a 401 page if the url is guarded by the old card and they are not authenticated we want to redirect them to 401 otherwise we can just return true so here we have an error let us import the map for that we need to update the import for the rxjs now in the previous versions of angular you had to also implement in here the can activate which belong to router. So you can see that this belongs to Angular router. But using the can activate in the latest versions of Angular is deprecated. So just remove this part. I'm going to save the changes. Now just go to Explorer and then go to the route. In the modules, I have the app.route.ts. Need to scroll down in here. And here on feedback i'm going to say that if you want to access feedback then this is going to be activated so can activate if you meet the conditions in the auth card now in here the last thing that we need to do is that we need to set the auth card as a provider for that i'll just copy auth card and then go to explorer and then I'll just go to app.module.ts. I'll scroll down here to the provider section when I have the movies service and also the error handler. And in here I'm going to also define the old guard as a provider as well. And then I'm going to use the file in the old.guard. Let me save now the changes. And I'll just go back to the app to test if everything works. As expected so now here you can see that i'm not logged in so if i just go to the feedback menu item in here you can see that i'm redirected to the 404 page and that's because i don't have a 401 page we're going to create that page on the next part we just go to home now i'll just log in so sign in with google i'm logged in i'll just go to feedback and now you can see that because I'm logged in, I can access the feedback page. Now this is all for this part. On the next one, you'll create the not authorized page.